Hey, what's up everybody? This is Greg with OM Gadgets, back with another video. And today I'm gonna show you how to take this Nexus 6P from completely stock to CM13. You can use this guide to flash any ROM that you want other than CyanogenMod. I'm not gonna go through the details of what each step means. I just wanna show it to you as quickly as possible so that you can have an easy to follow set video where you can flash any ROM onto your Nexus 6P. The basic steps are unlocking your bootloader, flashing a custom recovery, flashing the ROM in Google Apps, and fixing the vendor image problem if you experience it. All right guys, let's not waste any time and get this party started. We're gonna go to cyanogenmod.org and click find your build. Then you're going to scroll down and find the Nexus 6P and you're going to download the latest nightly from the left hand side. Save that file. Remember where you save it. Then go to the opengaps.org site and select ARM64 version 6.0 and the nano option. Download that file and also save it. Now it's time to download the Android SDK because you need the files from that and the USB driver to proceed. This is going to download as an executable installer. Once you install the program, open it, and you're going to have to install Android SDK tools, Android SDK platform tools, and these two options right here. When you're done, you'll have a platform tools folder where you'll find ADB and fastboot files. Next, it's time to enable developer options on your phone. In your settings, go to About Phone and then Build Number. Keep tapping it until the developer options are available to you. In Developer Options, make sure that OEM Unlocking is enabled. And also make sure that Android Debugging is enabled. Now, copy the directory destination where all of your ADB and fastboot files are and navigate to that in a command prompt. Once there, type in ADB version and if something pops up, you're good to go and with your phone plugged in, type in ADB devices and if it returns something, you should be fine. Now boot the phone into bootloader by pushing power and volume down from the phone being off and plug in your cable. In the same directory in your command prompt, type in fastboot devices and make sure that your phone pops up. Now it's time to unlock the bootloader by typing fastboot flashing unlock and push enter. Now let's go to the phone. It's going to ask you if you're sure you want to unlock the bootloader of your device. You're going to push yes by pushing the power button and keep in mind this will clear the data on your device. Once it says it's done in your command prompt, all you have to do is type in fastboot reboot. And this will restart your phone. Now, it's going to look like you have a brand new phone. You can unplug it. And all we're doing here is just getting through to the point where we can start using the phone. We're not going to enter any of our credentials. We're not going to we're not going to connect to any Wi-Fi. All we need to do is get to the home screen. And you'll see why once I'm done here. Just everything that it throws at you, go ahead and skip. We don't want any fingerprint scanners. Sure, why not? We're going to clear the memory out on the phone anyway once we're done. Okay, now plug in the cable. And now change the USB option to file transfers because we're going to copy some files onto this phone. Okay, now it's time to make a folder in your Nexus P external st storage called CM. And we're going to copy the Google Apps file that we downloaded earlier. 
and also the cyanogen mod ROM file that we downloaded earlier. Copy that to the CM folder you just created. Now what we're going to do is boot into a bootloader again using the same method that I showed you before. And now what we need to do is install a recovery. We're going to go to the TWRP website and download the latest recovery. I'll have the link in the description. And save this file into the same directory where you have your Android SDK files. Now make sure this you're going to Platform Tools and just push Save. Back in the command prompt, what we want to do is navigate to that directory again. Copy the name of the file, including the .img part, and we want to give it the command fastboot flash recovery and then push paste. Once that's done, you have a custom recovery on your phone and you can reboot the phone using fastboot reboot command that I showed you before. After it reboots, you can go ahead and power off the device. Now with the device powered off, we're going to boot into recovery mode this time. And, it, and this is how you do it. You do the volume down power button trick and then you push volume down until you see the recovery mode option and you're going to push power button to select it and then you're going to wait. Now if you see this error all you have to do is hold down the power button and push volume up and if you do that it'll take you here. This is a custom recovery called TWRP. You're going to be greeted with this message below just swipe it away. Now the first thing we need to do is wipe the device. Push wipe, slide the slider over to the right, and once it's done you can push back. Now just to make sure that it wiped everything we're going to do to advanced wipe we're going to select dalvik slash art cache, we're going to select the cache and we're going to select data. We don't want to touch the internal storage because we already have files that we want to flash there. We're going to select system as well and we're going to wipe everything. Now let's push back. Let's push back on the phone. Now we're going to go to install. We're going to go to our CM folder where we have the files and first we're going to install the CyanogenMod mod file. Select it and swipe to confirm that you want to install it. This will take some time. So once it's done, you can pick up the phone and you see that everything has completed correctly. If you see the dot 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 done at the bottom, you did everything right. Now let's flash the Google Apps file. This is going to be the same way we flash the Cyanogen mod file. Okay, everything is good here. You can push reboot system now. All right, it's going to take some time for the device to reboot because you just installed a fresh ROM onto it. But once you're done, you may see this error. There's an internal problem with your device. If you don't see it, you're good to go. Start using your new ROM. But if you do see it, follow these instructions. You need to go to the website where I give you the link in the description where you download official images for your Nexus 6P. And you want to click on the latest version. After you download that file, you want to open it and you want to go to the zip file contained in the packaged file that you download. And what you want to do is extract the file called vendor.img. So I'm opening the zip here. And as you can see, vendor.img is on the left hand side of the screen. I am extracting it to my SDK platform tools location because I'm going to need to fastboot flash this file. Ok, it's on my 
computer. I'm going back to the platform tools folder in command prompt. I'm going to type the command fast boot devices to make sure that my phone is, is recognized. Make sure your phone is plugged in. Now let's type in fast boot flash vendor vendor.img and this will update your vendor which should resolve that error message that we saw before. Okay, this is the confirmation that it's done. You can push, you can type fast boot reboot to reboot the phone. And let's keep our fingers crossed. No error message, we are good to go. All right, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you follow these easy steps, you'll be able to take your Nexus 6P from complete stock to CyanEngineMon 13. Now, I do have to mention that after I flash this ROM, there have been some issues with my Bluetooth. Basically, what happens is if I'm listening to music on, my, on any Bluetooth headset and I turn the display on or off, it starts to stutter. This is pretty much a deal breaker for me, so if Bluetooth is not important for you, then go ahead and flash. But I'm probably going to be looking for a new ROM after this. There are some plans to fix this issue in the CyanogenMod change logs. But if it doesn't get resolved soon, I'm just probably going to flash another ROM and I'll let you know what that is. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about the steps that you've seen. And this is Greg with OM Gadgets. Check out my Facebook. You'll find the link in the description below. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.